and we can power through this and we have to mend up and it's just, it's BS. Actor Jaime Camille is supporting a very personal cause in a very unique way. He tells us all about it. And we've got the stories that define the week on People in 10. I'm Makon Dovu, bringing you everything you need to know about pop culture right now. 10 minutes are on the clock, so let's get to it with the first five. Starting with shocking revelations from the new Hillsong Church docuseries out Friday. Hillsong is a mega church, and Carl Lentz is the celebrity pastor. But all that changed when Lentz was caught cheating on his wife, Laura. You do not want to be in this chair. I cannot stress it enough. Per the doc, Hillsong leadership were informed of incriminating text messages between Lentz and another woman. He was also questioned about the family's nanny, Leona Kimes. Lentz's wife reveals that she once found him and Leona in a compromising position. And when she did, she hauled off and punched the nanny. The pair initially claimed nothing was going on between them. Now, Kimes alleges she was sexually and emotionally abused by the pastor. Lentz calls the allegations categorically false, but admits that they did have an inappropriate relationship. He and his wife ultimately worked through the fallout of his betrayal. All amid other scandals plaguing their once beloved church. There was something larger happening at this church. People were putting things together. And your favorite stars are stepping out around the world this week. Meghan Markle took a bite out of the Big Apple, accepting a Ms. Foundation Award in New York City Tuesday, with mom, Doria Ragland, and hubby, Prince Harry, by her side. But the happy night didn't end that way, with a spokesperson revealing they were involved in a near-catastrophic car chase by paparazzi after leaving the event. A haunting callback to Harry's mom, Diana, who died after being pursued by paparazzi in 1997. This is Lil Wayne anger fans in LA by ending his concert just 30 minutes in because of low energy from the crowd. And big news for fans of The Voice. I'm taking over for Blake. Let's do this! But Reba admits she has big boots to fill next season. I got my work cut out for me. There's only one Blake shell. Over at the Webby's, Hoda Kabi shared a health update on her daughter, Hope. It's gonna be a, ro a longer road, but she's doing great. She is a happy child, uh, which is the, the most important thing to me. And across the pond, stars are going glam for the Cannes Film Festival, with Johnny Depp marking his return to acting, and Helen Mirren rocking blue and purple hair. You go, girl. Also out and about, but together, were rumored new couple, Taylor Swift and Maddie Healy. They were spotted leaving a New York City recording studio on Monday, as Jeremy Allen White and his wife, Addison Timlin, go their separate ways. We need like a reset. Timlin filed for divorce last week after three years of marriage, though the pair, who share two kids, were together for much longer. Still going strong are Rebel Wilson and fiance Ramona Agruma, who celebrated Mother's Day together and shared the first photos of their baby girl's adorable face. And as that engaged pair plan to walk down the aisle, Justin Long and Kate Bosworth seemingly already have. I was like really falling in love with, with yeah. my now wife. The couple revealed their engagement in April and now Justin's hinting they may have said I do. Well, we know for sure these two tied the knot because we were there. I think we've done a good job of making it our own. Former Bachelor Colton Underwood and Jordan C. Brown are married. We recognize that a lot of people who are going to be attending, this will be the first queer wedding that they've attended. We really want to make it special. A special wedding for a special love. He has the biggest heart. I just think his priorities are always in the right place. It's always the things that really matter. Colton loves the family he's created with Jordan and their two dogs, and there may be more in the way. We definitely want kids, and I feel like I was born to be a dad. We're continuing to celebrate women who are breaking stigmas around mental health. Brought to you by Maybelline, Brave Together. Hey, are you okay? In a 2018 Instagram post, Olivia Munn revealed that she's lived with anxiety and sporadic bouts of depression for most of her adult life. I just don't feel like I'm on top of things. She since faced it head on, and in her words, learned to fully understand it. Now she's encouraging others to try to do the same. But if I had ended my life, when I wanted to, there's so much I would have missed. And Glenn Close agrees, as she fights to change the way society talks about mental health. The idea that you have to fit yourself into someone else's idea of how you should be 
we need to just throw out the window. The actress, who previously told people she's lived with low-grade depression, co-founded the nonprofit Bring Change to Mind after her sister, who lives with bipolar disorder, reached out for help. Just like a lot of people, we were clueless. Even though now we know there's, you know, genetic depression, genetic mental illness in our family, it's nothing anybody really paid attention to. Close says this, you can't solve problems unless you start talking about them. Now, let's move on to some screen time. I'm so excited to be joined by Jaime Camille, who you can see in the second season of Schmigadoon on Apple TV Plus, and who's set to host Loteria Loca, a new Mexican style game show on CBS. And on May 21st, he will be joining men all over the world for the Distinguished Gentleman's Ride. you five questions for question number one you'll give me one answer and question number two you'll give me two answers and so on and so forth are you ready to get started i don't know i'm so scared hi may you're a triple threat an actor <laughs> singer and soon to be host on schmigadoon your co-stars are all so talented name one co-star you'd most want to record an album with this is an impossible question to answer it's impossible so what i'm gonna say ariana the and not say christian chenoweth I'm gonna say Cecily Strong and not say Jane Krakowski. It's impossible. It's impossible. You don't want to say goodbye. Ariana DeBose can sing whatever the hell she wants. It could be anything she wants. She is a, her voice is a gift from the angels and God himself, herself, itself, whatever. It's, she's just incredible. Loteria Loco is a new Mexican style game show and it's coming to CBS later this year. So what are two ways that Mexican television is different than American television? I don't know. I think Mexican television, it's more vivid, more alive. It's a constant party. Uh, I know it's just very colorful and, and it's just, it's loud. And I think that what we're going to have to do with Loteria Loca is to find a very healthy balance between what makes us proud from our culture, but at the same time appealing to the CBS broader audience. So it is a challenge, but I think I think we have found the, um, the balance and the sweet spot, yeah. On May 21st, you'll be joining men from all over the world for the Distinguished Gentleman's Ride, which is a great cause to raise money and awareness for prostate cancer research and men's mental health. You're actually a top rider. You raised over $20,000. Now, what are three reasons you wanted to get involved in this particular cause? It's, you know, we're benefiting Movember. Movember, as you know, is a lead charity in the world when it comes to men's uh, mental health and testicular cancer and prostate cancer. So we are benefiting Movember, which is, uh, which is great. And, you know, this cause is very near and dear to, to my heart because I believe one of the many reasons my dad is no longer with us is because he was suffering from a deep, deep depression. We have to undefine, not even redefine, we have to undefine masculinity, right? Because men are not supposed to feel, to cry, to ask for help, especially in our community, the Latin community, the African-American community. We're like, oh, man, America, we, can, we can power through this and we have to men up and it's just it's BS. I know men go all out for this. So can you tease three aspects of your look for the big day? Either clean shave or have a beautiful, well-trimmed beard. Very nice. Have a very beautiful gentleman's cut. And make sure you, you dress that for you split your time between the U.S. and Mexico, and you and your beautiful wife are raising your two children. I'd love to know, what are four traditions or celebrations from your childhood that you're excited to share with your kids? How important family is and how important it is to be always connected with your family members. I think that's, that's the most important um, yeah. thing that we would like to pass on to our kids. What I love about my wife's family and my wife's side of the of the family is that they are like, in Mexico, there's a candy, it's called mueganos, which imagine a lot of nuts together in caramel and super tight and, and clustered together. And that's how my, my wife's family is. And what about LA? Do your kids love LA? 
We love it. It's so nice. Now, it, actually, we are very happy here. We've been here. We've been living here for almost like 11, 12 years. It's just such a such a diverse, uh, such a diverse place. I love it. And finally, can you give us five things that we can expect from Jaime Camille this year? We just uh, premiered my movie Snag. Uh, we're going to premiere Loteria Loca this year, uh, hopefully. Hopefully we can get a season three of Schmigadoon. You know, you, you never know. Uh, first and foremost, I really wish my brothers and sisters from the WGA get a fair contract and fa fair wages because without them, we're nothing. Then I have uh, a documentary uh, as a producer and, our, and, and narrator. You know, so many projects in the cloud that we're waiting for them to materialize. Hi, May. Thank you so much for joining me. Everyone, make sure you watch Migadoon, Loteria Loca, when it premieres, and head to gentlemansride.com for more info on the distinguished gentleman's ride. All right, time's up. See you back here next Thursday.